Courtesy of Intel, this week we're giving away yet another Intel Android tablet. Congratulations, Cassie Lowe, last week's recipient of an Intel Android tablet, for successfully participating, telling us her favorite entertainment app, including the hashtag Intel Android, and making sure to tag me somewhere in the tweet. This week, all you gotta do is the same thing, except tell me what your favorite news app is. Good luck, everybody, and thanks again to Intel for supporting our community. Mozilla is set to serve ads on Firefox's new tab page using anonymized browsing history instead of cookies for ad personalization, and yes, users can opt out. Some people are going to be upset about this because they believe that ads do not belong on the web. And do not get me wrong, I'm generally not a fan of anything that takes away from an experience. However, a lot of content producers generate revenue through ads. Some people have gone to the point where they block ads outright. I wouldn't say that's fair, I wouldn't say that's ethical, but it's completely your choice. What you have to understand is sometimes that breaks the cycle. So for Mozilla to take this step with Firefox, they're doing it because they're trying to support the organization in the way the organization can be supported. For years, they generated revenue through Google AdSense. Years have gone by and the user hadn't experienced anything that would have necessarily been interruptive. I wouldn't necessarily go as far as to say that ads on a new tab page would be interruptive either. I've always been a fan of wanting to see ads that are targeted to me. I always appreciate the ads and maybe I'm the only one. I do not mind ads. I don't mind sponsorships. I don't mind anything that allows me to do the things that I enjoy doing. And if the price, quote unquote, of using Firefox and helping fund that organization that way is specifically in enabling ads on the new tab page, who am I to complain? To me, the ultimate opt out for a user, if you don't like this, don't use Firefox. I mean, yes, you could toggle the feature and still use Firefox, but you're also kind of taking away from the experience that's helping Mozilla do what they're doing with Firefox. If you like Firefox that much, wouldn't you want to do everything in your power to help it? It's kind of like blocking ads on your favorite content creator simply because you don't want to see ads. You're, you're hurting that content creator. That's what many people just don't understand. They, they don't make that connection. They believe that everything in this universe needs to be free. And unfortunately, the world doesn't work that way. You walk into a coffee shop, you can't demand the beverage on your terms. You just can't. You got to pay in some way, shape, or form. Using a gift card that you didn't necessarily pay for. Maybe you, you got it in exchange for something else. Or money, cash, credit, something along those lines. So uh, it's a pretty bold move. Uh, I, I've seen fewer and fewer people use Firefox over the years, having nothing to do with this move. Is it enough of a, a, an impetus to drive people further away from Firefox to an alternative like Google Chrome or Chromium? I don't know, I don't have the answer to that question. Mozilla needs to do what it needs to do to survive. If you like Firefox, do what you can to support it. If you like something, do what you can to support it. Otherwise, don't be surprised when it's no longer there for you. Just don't be surprised.